Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and in this tutorial, I'd like to show you how to make a wall repair station. So you're going to have biters, you're going to have walls, and the biters are going to eat at the walls. Uh, you need to have a way to automatically repair them. And to do that, you should make a very small isolated repair station. Oh, here come the biters. <laughs> Fancy that. Um, anyway, what you need is a roboport with the green construction zone. Uh, covering your entire wall area. Now this is separated from the main network as you can see these two stations are just by themselves here, the other two robo ports uh, and that's important because you want to keep your robots localized and not have them flying from miles away just to get to this tiny bit of wall. Um, you need to have your wall robo port connected to the one next to your station. So this is how the station works. Um, basically, we have a system here that orders items from the train, kind of like off of a menu. And here's the setup, it, and it's basically copied straight from one of the FFFs, and I will link that in the description below. So we have a filter inserter taking items off the train, um, and it puts it into a box, this storage chest. It's a yellow storage chest. Very important that it's not a passive provider, the red one, because in case bots get interrupted, they can return items to the chest. Uh, now this chest is wired with a red wire or green um, to the input side of an arithmetic combinator. If you see the arrows there, it's um, wired to the in arrow. Uh, this arithmetic combinator uh, basically uses an each times negative one and outputs each. And this is wired to the constant combinator, which is daisy chained back to the filter inserter. So let me explain how this works real quick. Uh, and to make it a little bit more clear, let's wire this up to the pole. So our combinator here is going to order items from the train. This is what we want. But in order to know exactly what we want, we have to figure out what we have. So stuff in the chest is what we have. And we need, um, looks like comparatively, we, we want 50 robots, but we only have 42 in the chest. So what happens is the signals from the chest get passed into the arithmetic combinator. They are multiplied by negative one. Okay, all of the signals are multiplied by negative one and then they're sent into the constant combinator with a red wire. Now, the wires, when you connect them from machine to machine, it adds the numbers. So if we have minus 42 robots, which is you know the signal that's gonna get processed, here it's gonna say, aha, minus 42 plus 50 is going to be eight. So we actually are needing eight robots. And look at that. Right here on the side, it says we need eight robots. So therefore, the filter is already set to have construction robots. That's the primary purpose of this inserter is going to take out robots. Um, and basically, that's how it works with all of the signals. If we take out the lasers, then we're going to Look what happens. We have laser turrets on the filter and the signal says, oh my God, we need 50 lasers. So you can see this in action. If I pull up with the train, let's go to wall west one. And if you watch the filters on the inserter carefully, we already got the robots and now we're getting all the lasers there. Hopefully, come on. Or wait, let me grab, get off the train so we can see how many are in here, 50. And then the inserter just stops. So let me move the train. Oh, 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 oh no, 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 excuse me. Okay, you, you go onward, go, go to the world. <laughs> um, if we want, um, so this was a little bit slow to unload these things. If you are really in a hurry, all you need to do is copy and paste things. You can get your blueprint, for example, and just copy and paste these two items and plonk more down. You can have a whole chain of them if you really want to. Um, yeah, this is the edge of the car. But if you could move the whole thing over to the left so you could have six of them coming out. Now, the way you would wire this up is let's get this pull off because that's totally unnecessary. That was just to look and see what it's asking for. Uh, you'd wire all the chain, all the uh, the chests in sequence and you'd wire all the inserters in sequence and then you'd copy this one to set these to filters as well right here on the side uh, and this way it'll have four inserters unloading the train at once and they will all go into the boxes and all of the boxes will be taken into consideration when they're added to the combinator. 
Uh, so that's how to expand this station. Now let's go and take a look at our base station for loading things. I've arrived back at the base and this is my wall supply station. Now you might be wondering how I can get so many items into this car. I can add even more if I want. You can have a total of, how many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, twenty-four separate different items in this train car if you would like to do so. What I have is I, for the highest quantity of things like walls and belts and things, I have them in these chests on the right so that they can load faster with stack inserters, uh, miners and such. But for small quantity items like robo ports and um, gates and little other bits and bobs, I just use two of these long handed inserters into the train. So it's very important to use one inserter per item because what happens is if there's still some in the hand and you've already filled up all of your slots then it won't drop it off and it won't pick up a different type of item so you need to have a chest and a, an inserter for each different type of item that you want to put in the train. Uh, to reserve slots um, you can go to a car I'll just use this one for example you can middle click and that brings up the menu of what you want. Say you want to do tanks and then this will um, add tanks. You can shift right click to copy and shift left click to paste. And you got to click it. This may change hopefully in the future. Maybe the divs will allow us to click and drag, but right now it's not possible to clear. Just middle mouse click. You can also put something in here. Oopsie. Haha. <laughs> okay. My hoist with my own petard there. Um, right, you can also put items in here and then middle click it to reserve the slot or just, you know, drop one in each, this kind of a thing. And then again, middle click this just to, to get them out of there. Um, but what I like to use the last car for is on some stations I have like a garbage car. And that's why I had all of these stack inserters taking out. So if I'm at a station and I have way too much wood, I just dump all of the, the junk in the cargo wagon. It gets sent out into these active provider chests and the robots empty them immediately. Uh, also, you want to include fuel for your train, but that's pretty much all there is to it. And I hope that you've enjoyed this uh, tutorial and I'll see you next time. Take care.